been invaded by the Irish band. I went out in the street looking for you lads and you stood out like a sore thumb. <laughs> <laughs> you had to be an Irish band, you just looked the part, you lads. You like, like gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> Probably stand there with the instruments <laughs> and the drums. And, uh, someone's sons. Yeah. Or somebody's sons. Someone's sons. Someone's sons. What a great name for a band. How long have you been together? Uh, we're just coming up to three years this mm. September, is it? I think so. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. so it's it's Jay, Greg, Dan, and Ray. How did it come about? Were you, were you at college together? Were you at school? Or? There's a big Irish festival that happens every year called the Flack Yule, which just translates to music festival. Mm -hmm. um, and that was coming to our hometown in 2020. And our plan was we'll join a band and play for a few free pints. COVID happened, so those plans were scrapped. Wow. And then me and Greg just started recording videos and throwing them up online and. Got a bit of attraction, and the boys joined us, and here we are. Wow! So, Greg, what sort of stuff do you do then? Do you right across the board? Do you do your own stuff as well? Yeah, we kind of we do a lot of Irish folk covers, uh, bands such as the Dubliners and the Clancy Brothers and Christy Moore, those kind of guys. And then we write our own originals as well as of late. So we have a couple of originals that we have out on Spotify at the minute. Sorry, one original out on Spotify <laughs> at the minute, and a couple of covers as mm -hmm. well. Um, so do you all play instruments? We got you've got, got Ray. What, what do you play, Ray? I play the bower on. It's a kind of a bass drum, so just uh, keep a, a steady flow on things in, in the background. Just make sure that the guys stay in line with their <laughs> tempo and stuff. But, uh, <laughs> He's a knack. I mean, he's already he's taking control. Yeah, it's a great sound. All the that, bower on. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's quite a unique sound. It keeps uh, a traditional clean. Irish instrument. It keeps wow. everything going and fluid, I suppose. Yeah. in the background. Yeah. So what about you, Jay? I'm, how long have you been with the band? From uh, the start? Yeah, from the start, like after the, the guys... Uh, uh, Go on. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> after the guys uh, did a bit on YouTube during COVID, we kind of all got together then at the end uh, when the lockdown lifted yeah. and did a few gigs. So yeah, since the start and then, yeah, it's been kind of going up and up since then. Wow. It's, well, it's, what's the big What's the big dream? What's the big ideas? What's the big... You well, know. just keep playing as many gigs we can abroad, which has been a lot of fun. Like we were in Germany last Paddy's Day. Wow. We're here in Liverpool now. We just sold out the Liverpool Irish Centre mm -hmm. for tonight, and uh, maybe buy Greg some new shoes. He's been wearing the same pair of shoes for six or seven years. <laughs> <laughs> we're we gonna be crying in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Once we can afford that, I'd say we'd be all right. <laughs> now this is your first time as a group in Liverpool, isn't it? This is my first time even in Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. same. Yeah, same with you. Yeah. yeah. Well, and yeah, you'd be made up to that because you're a big red, aren't you, Rick? Yeah, I've been here a few times, so yeah. I've, I've been showing the guys the sites, you know, all of all of the best pubs to drink in the box, you know, <laughs> <laughs> We've been going from Irish bar to Irish bar. <laughs> <laughs> who were the big inspirations then when you were coming through? Who were, you, who were the big the, the big players in your game? I'd say definitely the Clancy Brothers was a massive mm -hmm. influence, and the Dubliners, and as Greg said, uh, Christy Moore. Uh, currently, definitely the Merry Wallopers. Yeah, the uh, Merry Wallopers are doing really well. Oh, yeah, they're really flying. Like, they're playing yeah. in every. Uh, I've seen them on the Hoot Nanny at New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah, yeah really yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. Talent, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a great show. Yeah, they were due to be on the show, but something happened where we, we we just couldn't land the day because they played at the uh, the old two Academy here in Liverpool. You know. Oh yeah. Well, it's a real good gritty, dirty sound, isn't it? Mm, we'll we'll fight them for you. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. You're the, you're the new kids on the block. <laughs> so what, what, what are we starting off with? What, what are you going to do for us? We're going to start off with a traditional Irish song, okay. which is in the Irish language. That song is called Oro Shade of Take that away, boys. Happy days. What? Alex 
set together then because obviously you want to do your own stuff as well yeah. as the stuff that people want to you know party to as it were you know yeah it's a mix and match i think a lot uh and i'd say we we're constantly chopping and changing sets during the the gig yeah, yeah. and a little bit beforehand uh, you just got to feel it out i guess with what the crowd want so do you, do you stick to a different set maybe at home rather than coming to liverpool and doing a set a little bit yeah right. yeah it, it, kind of, it kind of depends again what people are looking for like when we were in germany we were very much like, okay, what are we going to play here at all? And we went to play a song, The Wild Rover. Mm. And sure, all the Germans knew it in German. They were like looking for the microphone. Like, no, let us sing it. We'll sing it in German. We're like, all right. <laughs> this is our <laughs> song. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. So what, what's next? What are we doing next? Uh, the next song is called Finnegan's Wake. It's about a man named Tim Finnegan, who was born by a bottle of whiskey, died by a bottle of whiskey, and was reborn. Well, I'd say about the whiskey. That'll be you four going back <laughs> on. <all the laughs> <things, isn't it? laughs> yeah. Take it away, boys. Tim Finnegan lived on Walken Street, a gentleman Irish, mighty odd. He had a brogue, both rich and sweet, and to rise in the world he carried a heart. Ah, but Tim was a bit down Tibbler's way With a love of the liquor he was born To send him on his way each day He'd have done this bit every morn I'm back with a dowie And still parked around the floor Your trotter shake Wasn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake Around the floor, your trotter shake. Wasn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun and finished. 
Timothy rises. Timothy Finnegan rises and in the bed. Saying to your whiskey or your life, please be the mother of Jesus. Your family are very musical. Well, myself and Jerry here, we're brothers, yeah. and our family are quite musical. We'd always have Irish music on in the car radio and things yeah. like that. And we remember, I think we were, Jan and Danny were remember as well, of we we're the Mullingar Town Band in oh, our yeah. hometown. It's a, a marching band and wow. a, a concert band. And that's where we kind of learned an awful lot of mm. music was from there. And then it's quite a transferable skill, you know, when you learn one instrument, it makes it very easy to learn the second one. Yeah, my parents weren't musical, but they were dead into music like I grew up on a lot of folk music say Bob Dylan and Simon and Garfunkel my dad's a massive Bruce Springsteen fan really yeah yeah oh a massive yeah. yeah yeah I think he's been to him probably five six seven eight nine ten times <laughs> you know? oh, there's a big big difference between yeah. five and ten <laughs> 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 I probably can't remember some of them you know? <laughs> wow yes I mean it, it, it's massively popular all over the, all over the world this sound isn't it mm. yeah absolutely and everyone kind of has a connection to one song that we mightn't even know as well. Like we used to play a song called Mersin Durkin just as a as a sound check song and people would be running up going, Oh, that's my mother's song or that's my granny's song or like <laughs> we wow. barely know it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, so have you got another song for us to finish? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, we do, should we do one of the classics? One of the classics. It was one of the classics. Will we do Whiskey in the Jar? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Whiskey in the Jar. <laughs> what was going to say uh, before we go? Where can we see you, lads? Where, we, where you know, the Irish Centre will be sold out, won't it? The Irish Centre sold, sold out. out yeah. What yeah. about? Obviously, you've got to come back to Liverpool soon, haven't you? Well, hopefully, if they'll have us back, yeah. we'd love to come back. Um, How can we find out about you? Give us all your uh, your socials. Yeah, we're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Someone, uh, someone's sons. Someone sons at someone sons, but uh two underscores in between the, okay. the words. And have you got music on sale? Have you got uh, we're stuff on, out? Yeah, we're on, spot, we're on every streaming platform. Um, you can find uh, some of the songs you heard here today and oh. some of our original songs and we'll be releasing new originals either next month or the month after. Oh. We have to decide. <laughs> Guys, it's a fabulous, have a great night. Thanks very much. Have a great time on the field. Yeah, Greg, Dan and Ray, uh, someone's sons, whiskey in the jar. Take it, take it away, boys. As I was going over Fork and Carey Mountains Met with Captain Farrell and his money he was pumping First produced my crystal and I then produced my ripper Then stand down the lower floor You are a bold deceiver Wish you ring down the new Back for my daddy-o Back 
in the jar. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Don't miss them. Go online, find out all about Sumon Sons live here on BBC Radio on Merseyside. Right, fellas, have a great time in Liverpool. Thank you very Thanks much. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Fantastic. Thanks very much. Thanks a million. That was great. Brilliant. Have you ever come across Nathan Cartel on your travels? Uh, uh, 